Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome back to some more Thorncraft and Britannia Unite. We are on episode 30? Are we on episode 30 now? Jesus. I'll tell you something guys, this, this series is slow moving but I'm so enjoying it. I really am. So, so enjoying it. And I do hope that you guys are too. If you are, go ahead and leave a like, all the comments and stuff like that guys. It would be amazing if you could. Uh, talking of comments, I got a comment actually in my episode 28. I haven't put 29 out yet, so I haven't got any comments on that just now. But um, Drew Tech, I think it is, Drew Tech Druid says, use velocity lenses for the uh, runic altar. Of course. God damn it, why didn't I think of it? I'll tell you why I didn't think of it, because I am actually a goldfish, and I forget about all these things. So, it's a good job you guys are around to point me in the right direction. But, today we are not doing Britannia. No, 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 no. I've gone out, guys, and look at this. My Silverwood Wand is full chocker, 79% average Vs cost, along with the stuff I'm wearing currently means that we're only doing 57, apart from order, of each one to get the Man of Steel Entwined Living Wood Wand. Oh man, that feels so good. It's definitely what she said. And it's actually increasing using my Mana Tablet. We don't want that to happen. We don't want our Mana Tablet to actually, uh, you know, be used at this stage. What we want to do is come over here and chuck it on top of there. I believe this works. Could be totally wrong. Um, where's my thing? Because I don't know if we're actually... It is sparing mana to items, but apparently I don't see any any kind of stuff going on there. No, apparently not. Huh. Huh. So it is good using the mana from my tablet, though. And uh, this is a problem. Let me put that in there and just suck up all of the mana from in there. And uh, we'll use it from the tablet instead. Okay, so that gives us pretty much a capacity of 100 and the 79 average V's cost like you would with the Silverwood wand, but this one runs off mana. How legendary is that? That is just fan-freaking-tastic. So we're going to take that, that's going to go ahead and do its job. We are going to go to sleep really quickly. And today, guys, it's time to start moving nodes. That is right. I've created something that I don't really need to move the nodes, but I would like a, a good old node set up over here um, to help me with things a bit later on down the line. And we need to we need to start moving some nodes. We need to start doing some stuff with Thorncraft because, you know, bless it, it's been a bit left out recently. It has been a bit left out. We're going to need you and you for this because I'm going to need to research that. Um, now, I don't believe, or at least I hope I haven't, already got it. No, I've got the thermostatic harness. Brilliant. Right, the node in a jar is going to take a while for me to decipher, um, so I'll be back when it's done. All right, guys, well, we ran out of ink in our normal scribing tool, so I'm just going to put my botani uh, botanurgist's ink well in there so we can go ahead and do that stuff. We just need a piece of order right there, and that is it. We've got the node in a jar. So, ah... Nice, good stuff. Let me go and grab my thumb and I'm going to get this out of the way. So, this is obviously a mystical construct, guys. We need 70 of every single piece of, uh, of aspects there. We need a load of glass with the node in the middle. Energized aura node, but I think that can be any aura node. With the glass and then the, the, uh, the slabs on the top. And then we can start jarring these nodes up, bringing them over here, and then allowing them to create a big super node. However, there is something I want to do before all that, and this is going to allow me to control these nodes. So, we need a node stabilizer. We need one of these things to actually stabilize the node that's inside there, because what will happen is it will take the stuff from other nodes, but it won't actually give up any of its stuff to the other nodes that are around it. So I really need to get one of these. Which means we need a little bit more paper, and in all truth, I do need to get a sugar cane farm going on. But I said, I said this a few episodes ago, but I do need to get a sugar cane farm going. And I think I am going to use um, Britannia to do that. So, that'd be awesome. You know, with one of the lenses, the ball lens, I think that'd be a good little setup, that. I think that would be a good little setup, like somebody said in the uh, in the comment section at some stage. So let's add that to the list, and let's get this one also found out. And here we have it, guys. We have our node stabilizer, which is pretty awesome. 
Oops, let's not open the door and let's actually look at this. So the advanced node, node stabilizer is something that we do want to go into, uh, but we need more Aurum, Ordo, which is a pain, and Potentia. Okay, but the node stabilizer itself. This thing, the handy device has several beneficial effects if placed below a node. Firstly, it prevents the node from draining Vs from other nodes, or being drained in turn. Secondly, it prevents unstable nodes from losing their Vs, and it has a tiny chance of eventually removing the unstable condition completely. Lastly, it has a very, very small chance of turning fading nodes into pale nodes. This requires power, however, and the node stabilizer draws this from the node itself. It does not draw enough to reduce the Vs of the node, but it does have its normal recharge rate. 32 across the board, and then it's basically an arcane workbench recipe, which is good stuff. Applying a redstone signal will switch the stabilizer off. So firstly, it prevents the node from draining Vs from other nodes, or being drained in turn. Hmm. Maybe it's something else that I'm after. Something is telling me somewhere in my brain that there is something that you can turn on that it will allow you to... Maybe it's the advanced one. In which case, we do need that Aurum. Good stuff. That's the Aurum sorted, but the Ordo and the Potentia are going to be a little bit harder because yeah, that requires Ordo. I believe it was six, wasn't it? Yes. So we just need six Ordo now. And we have two. Fantastic. All right, guys, I do believe we have enough. I went, went ahead and I, I uh, looked at a few things with my thermometer here. Now, I do believe we have enough to be able to buy this now. Yes, we do. Good stuff. Advanced node stabilizers perform all the functions of the lesser versions with a few major differences. Firstly, they still prevent lesser dr nodes from having their Vs drained, but it does allow stabilized nodes to drain the Vs from the lesser ones. This is what we're after. It's an infusion recipe, and its instability is dangerous. Now, this is something I've been wanting to work on for a while, because you guys keep telling me about it, and uh, it's something I definitely want to do, um, is st you know stabilize my... Um, my infusion area over there. Um, now eventually I want to change up the way that it all looks and stuff, but I think we'll do that another time. Um, it's going to take way too long for me to do that in this episode today. Um, secondly, it has a higher chance to improve unstable and fading nodes. Unfortunately, this costs a lot more power from the stabilized node. Still not enough to drain Vs from it, but even the brightest node will have its recharge rate almost completely negated. Now, okay, so, the advanced node stabilizer. We need to make a normal one first, but we need to start thinking about shoring that up because we've, I mean, that, it sparks already and that's only got a, a, a few bits going on there. So it's sparking all over the place. Um, this is a good setup. However, I need more. I need more stuff. Now, what I'm going to do is, because somebody said this in the comments and also Dragon on, on the uh, Magicality server as well was saying about it, is that uh, if you come down here and you actually dig this place out underneath it, you can place it underneath from a certain range around it. And that is exactly what I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, unfortunately, it's not in that book that I want. It is, in fact, my Lexica Britannia. And look at it, guys. It's nice and full now. That's brilliant stuff. Um, where, uh, where is it? Farmcraft integration. I think it might be the easiest way of, of doing things is to make the, oh, the glimmering, the flowers. These ones. The floating ones. Where are they? Float. There we are. Because these are much easier to craft than what it would be to shove everything in that crucible and get loads of tallow, uh, you know, and, and wax like that. This is much easier to craft uh, at um, a bigger rate than all the rest. Oh my goodness. Can't get out. I've logged myself in. Right, so I need to go and get myself roughly, and I'm going to do this from, I'm going to do it from here to here, but underneath the floor so you can't actually see it. So one, two, three, four. And then obviously it'd be eight, so it'd be nine. So it's a nine by nine, would you believe it? It is a nine by nine right underneath this. So I am going to just pop that off there. I'm going to dig down a couple of spots right there. And I'm going to put that back over. And then I'm going to find that, which is roughly in that direction. Why 
Have I got any torches? I do. I have two torches on me just right there. And there it is. That is the central point. So let me go ahead and mark this with a torch. And that is the central point of which I am going to place all of my stuff around. So give me, well, quite, quite a moment. <laughs> give me a long time to go and get myself this crafted up. Because I'm going to need a lot of pasture seeds and, uh, and bits and bobs like that. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, finishing my foray into the nether after getting some more glowstone dust, because I'm definitely going to need that. In fact, I think I might actually need more. Oop, let's be quick and get in the house. Sleep. So I think I might need more, actually, because I need double the amount of glowstone. I need two glowstone per, um, per flower. So, yes, I possibly am actually going to need a little bit more. I've got a chest over here with some bits and bobs in that I need to get uh, done. In other words, the grass. So I think it's something... I'm just going to get... I'm just going to do all of these. I don't think I'm going to have enough to be able to actually do all of these, but... No. 27 is uh, enough, <laughs> is what I had. I'm going to have to put some more coal, I think, up there. And get this thing running a little bit more. Get some more glowstone whilst I'm also waiting for this to, uh, to do its business. And I will be back, guys, once I've got all of these floating flowers already crafted for you guys. Okay, guys, I am underneath my Thorncraft pedestal right there, the center. Now, I've got an assortment of different flowers here that I've managed to craft up with what I had. And uh, what I need to do here, guys, um, I've done this three uh, low, if that makes sense. Because I want to be able to get underneath here should I need to be. Now, it's a 9x9, nine nine, and it's going to be a complete 9x9. Nine nine, so I don't need to worry about any instability should I get one wrong, or if I've missed one out somewhere. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put... All of these down. How amazing does this look? Now, not amaz not you know, just the fact that it looks amazing, but the fact that it is going to deal a huge amount of awesomeness to my infusion. There we go. Oops, I'm missing a couple. Can I place? I can. Good stuff. Now this should be exactly right. If not, I'll go ahead and make some more. But, uh, yep, my math is correct-ish. I've got one more. Really? I shouldn't have. I'm sure I only made 81. I could be wrong. I don't see anything that I've missed out here. I don't see any blank spaces, guys. That is good news for me. All of that is going to help now with my Thorncraft instability. And should allow me to craft what I need to craft without cluttering this top area. It's all in a square. All in a square. Every single square is filled. There is going to be no instability that that is creating. So I should be able to go ahead and make some stuff now with dangerous instability. And fingers crossed, it doesn't blow everything to smithereens. That would be nice. Um, I've got one more. I don't know where. I don't know why. I'm pretty positive I did my math right. But uh, according to that, no, I didn't. So, guys, I think it's about time that we whipped out our Thormonomicon and had a good look at this and started getting crafting some of this. Okay, I so should have the stuff ready and waiting now for the uh, node preserver. Not the node preserver at all. This node stabilizer. I should have all of this stuff. Um, I just nicked a piece of night ore. I nicked it off the top right there. It was there. It's now in my inventory, of course, because I've got it right here. I was going to make one, but then I thought, nah, you know what? I'm just going to use that one because I'm not actually using it. So... Quartz, gold, piston, a couple of them. And I do have enough in here. You know what, though? I've got my boots and my traveller on. And I want that extra one piece. So if you don't mind, there they are. I will have that on. I'll have the extra 1%, just over 25, and that's still quite a lot in there. So there is the node stabilizer, fantastic stuff. This is the middle piece of what is going to be needed for this particular infusion. So let me pop that onto there. 
Awesome. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, brilliant. It's eight items, which is fantastic. I'm going to need to make some more night ore anyway, and some alumentum, as well as some blocks of redstone. That is not a problem, but look at that. Dangerous instability. It's a good way of testing, just before the end of the episode, testing our new setup that we've got underneath our infusion setup. Um, that'd be awesome. We need 32 aurum. That's a lot. Great. I'm going to have to go and destroy some more nodes, I think. Um, but yeah, let me get all the stuff together, guys, and I'll be back. Okay, I do believe that the final pieces have gone inside there, thanks to a couple of shards that I had. I've got plenty of potentia, I don't need to worry too much about that. I've got plenty of Precantatio, um, Ordo now, I've got enough, and Aurum, I've got enough of as well. I had to destroy another node, which was just up there. I've deleted them off my map now, so I am less a couple of nodes. But when this is done, I'm going to have one massive node that I can just come along to and whip my, uh, my whip my wand out and, uh, and charge that. Because this Britannia wand, although it's brilliant and it runs out of mana and it's fantastic, it uses quite a lot of mana, and I mean a lot of mana. Let me just go and eat really quickly. Awesome stuff. And let me go ahead and grab a wand. Right, just to make sure I've got everything done. I have those, I have those, I have those. And I have the node stabilizer in the middle. 32, 16 of everything. Instability is dangerous, guys. Let's give this a try. Oh, I'm seeing some sparks. If this instability causes something, then it's going to be a problem. Because I've got tons of stuff below. I really shouldn't be getting knocked off or anything. Got tons of stuff below there. Come on. Drag that out. That's good stuff. Start eating those items, please. I might fill the inner circle of this as well with flowers, maybe. Or even tallow candles or whatever. Uh, that's going to start with that item. Good stuff. And that one. It looks like we're working around this way this time. I'm not seeing anything drop off just yet. We're on to the last four items, guys. It's looking good. It is looking very good indeed. And there goes the last one. Yes! And it gives me the advanced node stabilizer. This thing is going to be so useful come the next episode, that is for sure. I don't know where I'm going to put it, though. I want to come up to it and just give it a slap or something. I don't want it near my infusion setup, that much I do know. I may... <clears throat> I need to get a load of nodes around it. So I may have just put it out here, you know. And that thing, I'm going to put a node on top of there from a node in the jar. And we're going to be sorted. But that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I've run out of time. Um, usually, you know, it takes a long time to actually record these episodes. I don't think people realise just how long it actually takes to record these episodes. So the past couple of episodes have been like uh, nearly 30 minutes, I think. So I think I'm going to leave this one as 20 minutes and leave it on par. And then next episode, we're going to come back. I'm going to shear that, uh, that tree down and hopefully we get a sapling from that. And we're going to get ourselves a node in a jar and bring it over here and start this bad boy going. We're going to get the biggest node that we can possibly get and uh, it's going to feed our wand quite, quite nicely. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you've enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a like. Leave all sorts of comments and suggestions if you have uh, got any suggestions in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll be the tough man as always. Stay safe.